In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the blinking caps lock key and num lock key issue on an HP slash comp on an HP laptop. This video applies to compact laptops as well. Whenever you, when you open the laptop and then press the power button, you may expect it to boot, right? But in this case, the Caps lock key, the caps lock and num lock lights are blinking. The laptop is not booting. As you can see, there is no display. The Wi-Fi connectivity light should be red for this to apply. If it's blue, then that means you have keyboard drift and no display. This is the three blink problem. It is blinking three times. So you want to power off your laptop. There we go. The fans will run at full speed. And then shut the laptop. And then flip it over. Take out the battery, then take out the battery, and then you are going to remove one, remove the memory cover, and then remove one dim. Then flip the laptop back over. Open the laptop and then plug it in again. And then boot up the laptop. It should boot normally. But if it doesn't boot, then that means the issue, then that means that the issue has been, ha, is still there. If, if you took out the battery, unplug the charger. No LED should be on. Then shut your laptop, flip it back over, And then remove the three keyboard screws. Then remove the three screws for your keyboard. Untighten the three screw. Untighten the three three screws from your keyboard to your keyboard. Ah, oh, I cannot English. Hmm. There we go. All three screws are unscrewed. So you want to reopen the laptop, flip the laptop back over, reopen it. If you have a school computer, then that means I think it, that means it's urgent. If you have a, swap the dim. And put the other dim in. And then plug your charger in. And then you want to hit the power button. The issue has still applied. So, that could be an incompatible or incorrectly seated dim. So, you you could need to do you would need to do a BIOS recovery.
Oh, okay. My camera wasn't focused. <laughs> My camera. Sorry, children. Sorry. If you're happy. I think all the schools have upgraded from these things. But that's why they don't use them anymore. Find a small bit. Remove the BIOS battery. And then put the battery back in. If you have a hard drive in there, then you may want to take it out. But there wasn't a hard drive in this case. If you took out any dims, put them back in. If you took out any dims. Plug in your charger. And then turn on the laptop. Yes, yes, it's working. If you see the HP logo, hit escape till you see the boot menu. And the laptop is now posting. And the laptop is now. You may want to test the other DIN as well. Uh, so. Add your second dim. Open up your laptop. Plug in its charger. And we can turn on the laptop now. My case, in my case, all the dims were inserted without error. In my case, the RAM was inserted without an error. If you have no OS installed, open up your disk drive. And then... Look. Look. Heck for any installed disks. No, 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 no. That's not the disk to install it. There we go. Now I can do. Now I can resume to normal uses or install a new operating system. Hope this video helped. Bye.